Xavi Argemi is 26. At only three years old, he was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, a progressive degenerative disease that restricts his ability to move freely. Now I am currently in a wheelchair. I can only move my hands a little bit, just enough to drive, write texts and emails, and use the computer. I also have to be fed by a tube. The Argemis are a family of nine siblings. Together they have always looked after Chavi, and his mother has always taken care of him. The truth is that while he sits there in the chair, he gets much farther than I do, moving all about. His newest book is titled Learning to Die in Order to Live, and it is dedicated to his niece and nephew, who are one and three years old. His story even reached the Pope, who in June signed this book with these words of thanks. To Chavi, with my blessing and my gratitude for your testimony, and asking you to pray for me, Francis. Soccer players like Piquet have been very moved and grateful for Chavi's story. The book says that it is worth living each day and valuing each positive thing, that we must see the glass as half full. Chavi's friends consider themselves as part of his family and feel inspired by Chavi's example. They are very close to Chavi. He gives them this humanity and inspires them. They are inspired by someone who is in a wheelchair and doesn't move. Chavi's life is a powerful example of overcoming hardship for those suffering from disease and for anyone seeking a source of inspiration. Would you like to see the Pope up close and personal? Download the Rome Reports app right now on your phone. There are versions available for both iPhone and Android in Spanish and English. You will receive the best images of Pope Francis every day right to your cell phone, including his daily homily, his trips around the world, his meetings with global leaders, his acts of mercy to the needy. All this in a short and direct format, brief videos of one to two minutes, so you can watch wherever you are. Open your cell phone now. Download the Rome Reports app and follow Pope Francis everywhere.